Lindsey Vaughn and Chelsea Handler. Give it up. There are few places where the housing crisis is more critical than here in Los Angeles. Simply put, there isn't enough affordable housing available. I don't know about y'all, but I've only lived here for like four years, and it's pretty heartbreaking. Like how many home, like homelessness is a huge crisis here. Have, have you lived here for long, Chelsea? Like I've lived here for about 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's worse. Even it is, like when for I lived sure. here, like 19. It's so bad. Um, but our next guests were struggling to keep a roof over their heads until they discovered a nonprofit called Hope Through Housing. Now these two mamas are living their best lives. Let's say hi to Julia and Taja. <laughs> so this is Lindsay. This is uh, Chelsea. Y'all meet everybody. <laughs> um, so you're you're both now living lives that you once could never imagine. So tell us how that came about. Yes, um, life is so beautiful now. I am a proud mama. Yeah. I have a five-year-old son. He's autistic. So I, um, of course, raised him with his special needs. Mm -hmm. And I am expecting my second child. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Um, in about four weeks, so I'm really excited. And I'm a full-time student. I go to Mount Sac, and I am pursuing my dream career of being a veterinarian. That's amazing. Mm. What about you, Julia? How'd you find that? Yeah, I, I, I have a great life right now, too. I, um, I have a, four beautiful children and two grandchildren. Wow. I've been back to school. I have a license. I'm a licensed clinical social worker, married 10 years. Oh. And I have a business now that I get to give back to people that were in the same kind of situation that I was in. I love that because when you're going through something, I don't want someone talking at me. I want someone talking with me that like knows what I'm going through. So that's so important. What a cool testimony you have to all those people that you're helping that were once you. Really great. It's the best outcome. So these accomplishments are a far cry from how you grew up, right? I was 17 years old, a high school dropout, runaway teenage mom. Mm. Um, I was raised in some very bad conditions too, exposed to alcohol and abuse and drug addiction and violence and all those fun things and led me on my path. And mm. I was in and out of jails. I slept in forts. I literally slept in cars and parks. I had a baby in those conditions, my daughter Cassie. And wow. I, I know. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, knew I, I knew by 21 years old, in and out of jail, I knew I had to do something different. I had my daughter, I found out I was pregnant, and I knew I had to do something different. Is that what kind of did it? Because I feel like there's always a turning point for someone, and that kind of did it. It was your kids? Yeah. Not everybody takes that route though, right? They just yep. do what was done to them, instead of changing that cycle. That's amazing. That's it's right. incredible. Yeah. It says a lot about your characters, is what I'm saying. Um, getting a place from Hope Through Housing was instrumental for both of you, right? Is that kind of a big thing that was a turning point? Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, it was the biggest turning point of like my entire life. Mm. So, pre-COVID, I worked two jobs as a single mom, like 60 hours a week. Mm. Then my son's 20 hours a week of therapy on top of it, I was just exhausted. Um, when COVID hit, I lost both of my jobs and I didn't know what I was gonna do. M my income tanked, it was non-existent. Um, my savings was dwindling and I was not sure how was I gonna get through life anymore. Mm -hmm. So luckily a friend told me about the Hope to Housing Foundation. So I got on the website, I applied. Well, a couple months later, I got this amazing phone call yeah. telling me that I was accepted into the program. Wow. And it completely That's changed gotta my feel good because you're like, you changed your life, you did so well, you were doing everything yeah. you're supposed to, a global pandemic hits, which is just a kick in the face. And then, you know, it happens again to her, like, what am I gonna do? That's amazing that this, you ended like up that. finding that, yeah. I didn't know what I was gonna do next, so. Mm. Once I got into the program, I took my son with me to go view the property and it was just beautiful, beautiful. And I just kept telling him over and over again, like, baby, this is our new home. This is our new home. Aww, that's so exciting. <laughs> it's so cool to be able to like, get your kid, give your kids that. That's yes. the thing as a mama, it's like, oh man, like we can handle a lot, but you want your kids to have like the best of the best and better than what we had. It's mm. true. After years of struggles, Julia and Taja have turned their lives around with the help of a program called Hope Through Housing. So Taja, you told us about the apartments, uh, but that's just one part of how Hope Through Housing helped you. So tell us more. Hope Through Housing is amazing. <laughs> Not only do they provide affordable rent, yeah. But there's so many services that are available to us residents. So, for example, uh, when I moved into the property last year, yeah. I applied for the school scholarship, 
And then um, I actually applied for the school scholarship again this year, and I won both years in a row. What? Yes. You're a very lucky person. <laughs> I'm just saying in this sense, like, wow. That's um, amazing. So it just, it inspires me so much just to keep going with school and keep going with school. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, I sign up for the budgeting services. So the program will assist me with teaching me how to budget my money and how to save money. Which they should teach in school, which I don't know why they don't, yeah. Yeah, I think it's amazing yeah. to have that support. Yeah. Um, Hope to Housing is also big on family. So there's so many after school activities for the kids um, that I love. Parents. Yes, yeah. there is um, job searching, there's transportation services. There mm -hmm. are so many services available for us residents. I feel like the program really has my back in life. Yeah. And just having that support, that's invaluable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Lindsay, you have a nonprofit that helps at risk girls. So, what kind of success have you seen from that? I mean, I um, help underprivileged girls with education and sports scholarships and programs. And I've seen, you know, by giving girls an opportunity, by letting them dream mm -hmm. and ha giving them the belief in themselves to dream, mm -hmm. they can do amazing things. I mean, I've worked with girls that, you know, have self, self harm and, um, you know, really have no goals in life, turn it completely around and become incredibly confident and empowered young women who I know and, and I know have already gone on to be and do amazing things. So it's really important to be able to give everyone or as many people as possible the opportunity because you can work really hard, but if you don't have the opportunity, you'll never get to where you want to go. It's just having that opportunity and these organizations are so important and key for people and pivotal moments for people to change their lives and not only them, but their descendants, their kids, everybody else after that. It's a really incredibly cool domino effect. Chelsea, you're always so vocal about empowering women. So what do you think of what Taja and Julia have accomplished? I think it's so inspiring to hear these stories. I mean, think about how many little girls are watching this, thinking that, you know, when you get an opportunity, to take it, you know, when you have an opportunity to make the most of that opportunity, when you have somebody who puts out their hand and says, I can help you, to say, yes, I want help. I want to turn my life around because without them, they mm. wouldn't be able to accomplish anything either. You know, you have to have that fight within you. And I think that's so important for us to always be messaging young girls and always to try to help out when you have the ability and the resources to always make sure you're looking around and seeing the people that you can give out a hand to. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Well, we have the president of the Hope Through Housing Foundation in the audience right now, so everybody say hi to Greg. What's up, Greg? So, Greg, you say that the program isn't just about helping um, on an individual level, but transforming communities as well, right? Absolutely. It's about providing the space within affordable housing to allow folks like Julia and Taja to be empowered to elevate their health, their well-being, and their self-sufficiency long-term. So with our uh, housing partner, which is called National Core, we have about 9,000 apartment units um, across California, Florida, and Texas, wow. and they're beautiful. And if you have the chance to visit them, you could drive by every day and have no idea it's affordable housing. And that's the whole idea is we want it to be housing that any one of us would feel great living in, and I absolutely would, where it elevates the, the self-esteem and the expectations of our residents there. So. Yeah, having we're, something to be proud of. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it's growing, so we're excited to share that um, this next year we're going to be opening 10 new communities, including That's one amazing. right in East L.A. locally. Yeah. Um, and we're also building a program we call Core Academy, which is a workforce training program to actually offer the opportunity for our residents to enter the property management industry so they can help to further affordable housing as well and build that career path for themselves. And just another way that we partner with the community to really make these things happen. Wow. Well, Hope Through Housing is doing so much to help those in need get back on their feet. And our friends at Nuts.com agree. Nuts.com is a family-owned business that offers thousands of products for your snacking and gifting needs. And to help support families who need a little boost, they're giving Hope Through Housing $25,000 to help out. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, for being just such great role models for women in general.